Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we started doing was comparing percentages with decimals, fractions, ratios, and drawing models for them. And essentially, we were, uh, we were putting it all together here. Now, a percentage, as being taught today, is, a, is some value out of a whole, which in this case is 100. So 6 as a percentage, of course, would then be 6%. So 6% would equal 6 over 100. So 6 out of 100 over there. And that would be your fraction, 6 out of 100. And as a decimal, 6 one-hundredths would look a little bit like this. 6 one-hundredths, because the 6 is in the hundredths place. As a ratio, we have 6 of our, as our parts, 100 as our total, uh, because there is our ratio, right? 6 to one-hundredths. And as a model, what I need to then do is show that out of 100 total parts, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have 100 total parts, and I need to shade six of them. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And there you have it, okay? So we have our percentage at 6%, which is as a fraction, 6 over 100. That's pretty much what I do first. I'm, I'm always thinking of a percentage as some number over 100, so I can go right to my fraction. Once I have my fraction, Six one hundredths converts to a decimal quite quickly. And then as a ratio, I can use my six to one hundred as my ratio as well. Now, as far as fraction, fractions are concerned, of course, I can reduce, I can simplify. Uh, that's great. Or you can keep it in your pure six over one hundred form. Okay? So that's the deal. Let's see what else we have here. There's another one I wanted to look at. Um, as I cruise down, we have one that says six hundred percent. And as six hundred percent, as a fraction, I'm not sure which one was the fraction. Let's say this was a fraction over here. 600, because the percentage is some number out of 100, I have 600 over 100. And as a decimal, well, if I, have, if I was to reduce this, I actually get 6 over 1. So as a decimal, it's really 6. If you want to put in your 0 .00 if you'd like, that's fine. It doesn't really matter because 6.00 is still equivalent to just plain old 6. Now, as my... Um, as my ratio, there's my 600 to 100 or my 6 to 1. That's fine too. Sometimes kids like to see that, that 6 to 1. Now as far as, as my diagram is concerned, if I'm eating 600% of something, I'm actually eating 6 complete and total, judging from my whole number over here. And everything needs to be shaded in. Okay, So 6 complete and total items. All right? So that's the deal. I mean, if you want to run at that 32, 32% uh, is 32 over 100. Again, you can simplify that if you'd like. I can take that and cruise over to my decimal with 0.32. I can then cruise over to my ratio, again, putting everything together. And then, as the, uh, then for the, of course, the diagram, I'm going to have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and I need 32 out of 100 to be shaded in. So if I change colors, I'm going to have all of this guy here. That's 10. That's 20%. This is 30%, and one, and two more. Okay? So that's the deal, folks. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.